apartment there, but what it's really it? nice. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. The fuck you say? I'll see you around, Wolf. Very nice. So I just love this game. Now I've gotten all the um, unlockables. You know, I found all the information. I, it took me like six times to do it. But every time I played this game, I find something new. It's referencing something. It's just I missed something. Uh, I didn't understand it the first time. So this is really, really good game. Um, I've known people who, yeah, who hate violent games and just stray away from them altogether. And they, I've looked at them, I've talked to them about it, and they've played this game, and they played it to the end, and then they played it again. So I'm playing this on the Xbox One. Uh, as you can tell by the graphics. Yeah, there's no more. There's nothing for me to unlock, as far as I know. But I can still spot things in the background that you know I just simply didn't notice before. So this is the first episode. Faith. He's going back to his, you know, house. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna get a bit boring. Uh, we're gonna wait till we meet up with Snow. Which they are. It's basically the nicest um, community inside the uh, Fable Town. You can even look around and you can see um, like local businesses and they're owned by the woodland creatures. There's like uh, Cinderella's shoes. Um, I'm pretty sure there was one reference to Pinocchio. basically just have to look around you'll notice like a lot of things don't make me come over there look I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight so just <gasps> sorry Bigby didn't mean to be an asshole beauty huh Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? Damn it, I'm late. That's beauty, as in beauty and the beast? Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. We're gonna lie, I'll by the way. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Big B. If you can't tell, I'm actually smoking an e-cigarette, a disposable e-cigarette. It's strawberry flavored. Our mail. 
been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Well, that sucks. We can see who's actually here. Um, B. Homer, as in like, um, Bluebeard. Bluebeard's in here too. He has a really fucked up uh, backstory. Again. You can actually find out a lot about their backstories there. All pretty much completely fucked up. Damn thing fell off again. That indicates that he was um, new to the residence. If he's got a handwritten one. How Look, King Cole. I don't know who on? King Cole is. I don't actually. I have no idea. Let's see. Um, you think the sheriff would get a permanent it's... listing? So he's got his office in the. Um, in this building as well. I think. No, no, scratch that. No, he doesn't have it in the office, no. Oh. It's taken so long, I, I didn't actually know if I pushed it or not. Bigby. Hey. Wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I'm gonna lie uh, to him. Haven't seen her. Staying out of so, this. I did. Have you? Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Something kind of is. It's not that bad. I'm not going to give away, uh, give away any spoilers alert, uh, any spoilers, so I'm just going to keep quiet, but it's not as bad. It's just something that he doesn't want Beauty to do. Not that it's bad in the general sense at all. No, it's actually quite normal. Big B's apartment. So the prostitute, Faith, will be coming around shortly. There's a reason um, it kind of stinks in his um, apartment. We're going to find out shortly. I'll show you. <sighs> what a night. What a world, what a world. Refrigerator. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. There's beer and half and puffs, which is his brand of cigarettes. Just got beer and cigarettes and a lot of blue, blue beer. beer. Never trusted this guy. I'm going to explain Bluebeard. Bluebeard was obviously a pirate. Uh, he was a horrific murderer. He often had wives who he kept in the dark about his various ways, about his pirate wa ra um, ways. Uh, one by one, he would actually kill them eventually um, out of sheer spite. Maybe they found out what he's up to and was it going to the authorities or something like that. But they would live in a house on the shore and he would kill his wife. And he went through seven, seven wives and his seventh wife found out. And basically, as she was praying, her brother came in and rescued her in time. And of course, Bluebeard still got away. So he is a murderer, but... Just like him and everyone, all the other fables, he got a second chance and is living off the huge fortune that he stole back in the day. So we're going to turn the fan on. Should help. Chinese food. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Oh yeah, there's a pig on the table here. Gonna 
go ahead and wake his ass up. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Come on, I'm tired. Yeah, get out. There's only I've the only one. got the one. So yeah. Obviously, that's one of the pigs that he blew the guy's house down. One of the three little pigs. Either made from sticks or straw, one or the other. Got a smoke? Now, Big B's mother was like a spirit of the wilderness. She was a, she was Thanks. a wolf. A couple but... thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You it's, can't it's keep sneaking off the farm like this. You actually have to read the comic standard to the fully fresh understand air his backstory. Pitch they no, sell they you had this bullshit. epic adventure. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? Big you B haven't been there. Come on. Basically a, a giant dramatic. wolf. That's his original form. That for me? That's the way he was nope. born. In fact, he has all the house other didn't brothers. blow he itself has all these siblings, down, and he's the smallest That's one. all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. Huh. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad? Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Toad. I'm gonna say Toad. I've never said Toad before. Toad. Mr. Toad. Okay. How are his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, sounds about right. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my yeah, throat so wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wolf. Like Wait, that combination of Just give me a drink, please. A, Colin, um, enough already. Nature I haven't slept in ways. two days. It's complicated. I went out Very a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? He's yeah, literally yeah, like um, 12 probably. feet tall, if not bigger, maybe 15 feet tall. Uh, who knows how long exactly he is, but that's just how his original form. Basically, he went on this massive adventure with Snow White Thanks, back baby. in the day, and he had to get, she had to cut him with this uh, ceremonial magic knife which would allow him to take human form. So he's never needed a glamour, so he has no idea how much they cost or 
really what's the big deal with them, but he's never needed them, nor is he human. Hmm. He was expecting company and he just passed out on his chair. I'm not seeing any kind of bed. Maybe he doesn't even have a bed. No, there's another door there. There's bedrooms in there. He's straight. He's straight in a tie. Big B. Snow. Come with me. As you can see, Snow White. Snow. Quite attractive. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Oh yeah, this is yeah his office and Where are we going? um. Out yeah, he, he in lives front of in the, the same building. building as his office. We have to That's get there. Cool. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. That's a Monday. Which is what they call just regular humans. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. So this is where the game just, it just twists so much from this point. You can almost see her boobs jiggling, it's so weird. It's like you can and you can't. When you kind of think about it, all fables are pretty much all fucked up. Snow could have explained to him, you know, what's going on, but of course she did, and she just, she's got to let him take it this by surprise, by the way. No. You knew this girl? Is, she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. Snow is kind of shocked by this. She can't believe that there's just a side of Fable Town that, you know, would... He attacked her. I she knew that there, there was like grotty he places. To kill us both. No. She never thought that people would have to force he... themselves to be prostitutes in order to make yet. money. Just give me a second. It's just terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. This is where people sort of skim out when they you know, start playing this for the first time. You really got to have a look around because you find some evidence. 